Hello YouTubers, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Little update. Uh, just received a really fantastic video today. You know, I've talked in the past and uh, if you're not familiar with my rain gutter grow system, check out my channel. If this is your first time uh, on it, uh, you know, click on my name and go to it and look at it. You'll see the self-watering rain gutter grow system. And uh, I had one of my subscribers I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's uh, R-K-O-B-I-L-A-N, and I'll put a link on there to his, uh, his YouTube channel. He just sent me a video that's just absolutely awesome. He had took my concept and tweaked it, and what he did is he put it inside, and he's growing tomatoes and a bunch of different peppers and stuff in it, and it's really neat how he's got it hooked up. Uh, he's got two, it looks like two of uh, the rain gutters, uh, you know, cut down to size maybe because uh, the rain gutters come 10 feet, he probably cut it in half, it looks like two five-footers maybe. He's got it hooked to a five-gallon pail and you just fill with water and, they, and the floats in it and the whole shot. It's really slick, slick setup. And like he had said in a message to me, he said the great thing about this is, and the, one of the reasons I'm so pumped about this system is because uh, not only did he say it, but earlier uh, on one of the podcasts, Jack Spirico on the Survival Podcast, Jack had said he wanted to do that in his greenhouse because he'll be able to start stuff indoors, and especially in our area, in Minnesota. And uh, and uh, this guy, a subscriber, is in uh, northeast uh, uh, North Dakota. And uh, uh, the thing is, you, uh, we don't have the growing season here. So what would be really be fantastic is to start your plants with either plants or seeds, especially like like watermelon and uh, uh, cantaloupe, don't like to be transplanted. So that's what I'm going to do this spring in my greenhouse is start them in a, the rain gutter system in the greenhouse. I can control, control the temperature and give them a good start. And then you just basically lift the container out and put it in a rain gutter system outside. Let it harden off and uh, for a couple of days switch it back and forth until they harden off and you get a jump start on everything. But anyway, I'm going to put this video up here. Take a look at it. It is really cool. Uh, let me know what you think. For anybody who's considering starting anything indoors, this is a great idea. Take a look.
Wasn't that great? That is Richard up in Grand Forks, North Dakota, who designed that and built that. And I'm going to put some links uh, below the video. Click on it, go to his site, uh, check out the video, uh, direct link to it, and uh, make a comment. Tell him what a great job he did, because I think he did a great job. And I really appreciated him sending that to me. And uh, anybody else out there wants to start it in the greenhouse or start it indoors, uh, you know, yeah, we can help you in any way. You know, got any questions, send us a, send us a little mail, you know. But uh, this is Larry up in Brighton, Minnesota, saying ciao.